Well, tonight, a seven can help alert with bank scams in Nebraska on the rise. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. The attorney general's office warns scammers are trying to text their way to your bank account. KATV News Watch Evans' Alex McLoon explains how they're picking up the phone in a different way. Alex? Rob, Julie, you guys probably noticed phone companies can screen incoming calls thanks to federal action, but text messages are better at getting through to ask for your personal information. Scammers are trying to type their way to your information, often starting with texts or emails impersonating actual banks. Hi. I'm Attorney General Mike Kilchers. The Attorney General's Office Consumer Affairs Response Team says bank scams have increased tenfold over the past three years because we prefer to text and it can be more personal and believable. Are they getting more annoying? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the random text messages of like, hi, I we, we talked recently. And I'm like, no, we didn't. I don't know who you are. I talk to people every day that are going into retirement. Haley helps finance retirement for seniors. She says they've learned to get defensive over the phone. I actually have to verify where I'm calling from to get their confidence um, before they divulge any information, even their name. Messages masked as banks might warn you about security or fraud alerts with a link leading to a fake website. Entering personal info can open the door to your bank account or transactions. The Better Business Bureau says someone contacted a Nebraska woman by impersonating U.S. Bank twice. She called the bank herself, which confirmed it was a scam, which is the right way to go instead of chasing it down yourself, even over a phone call. Have you ever answered one before? One time, but it was like some random Morse code. It was, I don't know. I just say hello, and then they start rambling on about uh, all the stuff they're doing, just start yapping. Any fake identities? That's a go-to of mine if I do answer. Yeah. Create a fake name, fake story. <laughs> as tempting as it is, experts recommend you do not respond to those phone calls, texts, or emails. Also, banks will never ask you to confirm personal details over the phone. Back to you. All right, Alex, thanks.